just wanted to show you guys kind of how I go about setting my uh, blade angle on a spring steel rest here. This is with a 2712 arrow on it. Uh, it's got about 250 grain point in the front. It's about 32 inches long. There's a good bit of weight there um, just as it's knocked on the string. Um, so what I like to do is just you know take a little bit of the weight off the arrow um, with my finger up here and um, try to mimic um, you know maybe the weight that's that pushing down on the spring at full draw or maybe just a hair more than that um, but I don't want to take all the weight off and I don't want to leave it the whole way down so just lift up on it a little bit and uh, that's kind of where I like to set um, the blade angle at but what I wanted to show you is I see a lot of people with you know their blade angle you know jacked way up or laying way flat and uh, you know the people that have it laid flat, a little bit too flat. You know I always see, you know, vein smears going down the launcher blade, or even back here on the rest body itself. And the people that have it, you know, usually up too straight. Um, you know they like they break blades a lot. They bend blades. Um, so you kind of want to find a middle of the road. Um, you know, and I like to run mine. You know, right around in there. Um, and I don't have a protractor to tell you the exact degree that that is, but that's a really good starting point. Um, I just kind of eyeball it to start off with. So you don't want it laying down too flat. You don't want it up too high. Kind of middle of the road right there. Just kind of lift a little bit of the weight of the arrow off of it as you're setting it. And then go ahead and lock it down right there and you should be good.